Hold on. Are you that Lara? Croft? I am. I recognize you from your picture. What's your interest with this place? I'm following a riddle. The heart of the serpent is in the cup near the many stone faces. The stone faces? That's why I'm here too. I don't want to step on your toes. It's the serpent in the cup I'm really looking for. Well, I can tell you the faces have been here for at least 400 years. According to documents in the library, they keep watch. Legend has it, they're guarding a secret crypt. A crypt? We've never been able to find it. As you can imagine, that's what drives the treasure hunters crazy. But if the infamous Lara Croft is as clever as they say she is, well, if you were to find it, you might be doing me a favor. You think I should start at the library? Yes, it's over by the cemetery. It's one of the oldest buildings here. Make sure you credit me if you find anything. Thank you. I will. Did you say someone's missing? Yes, Isabella. Another member of the field study. I checked on her after the first tremors this morning, but her tent was empty. You should ask Manu. He probably told her where to find El Dorado. This is serious. We had a fight last night. A bad one. I'm sorry, Guillermo. I didn't realize. Please continue. You had a fight. I don't mean to pry, but... It's all right. We've been very close friends for almost a year, and I think both of us would like there to be more, but neither of us has broached the subject. Isa and Sarah, they often don't get along. Sorry, Sarah, but it's true, because Sarah insists on her team being very down-to-earth, while Isa has a passion for folkloric tales of hidden temples. I often get caught in the middle. Those stories always come from somewhere. Even if most of it is made up, there'll be some kernel of truth to it. That's Isa's viewpoint, too. Anyway, there's an old blind man who lives here named Manu who's full of these kinds of stories. He convinced her there's a secret crypt hidden around here, and last night she asked me to come with her and find it. I refused, and we got into the old fight. It ended with her calling me a hidebound coward and me calling her a... a foolish child. So she ran off? Yes. To as she put it, prove all you naysayers wrong. This morning I heard rumors that she vandalized the cemetery last night. That's when I started looking for her. When I found her missing with no one knowing anything, I started to worry. What if she went looking for the crypt and something happened? I could never forgive myself. Alright. You stay here, so if there's news or she comes back, you'll know about it. I'll go looking for Isabella, starting with the cemetery. You'd do that? To be honest, I'm as curious about that crypt as she is. 